Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Silly and welcome to today's video. Today, I've got another GTA video. This time, I'm going to be talking about GTA 6 and uh, all that speculation and all that stuff, even though uh, it's in no one's brains right now and Rockstar have said nothing about that game. But um, I thought, why not? Why not do a video? You guys are going to enjoy it. Um, I hope you are anyway. Um, but please, can we try and get 30 likes on this video and uh, loads of comments? Because, um, yeah, I just feel like the activity on this channel is going to shit. It's partly my fault because I don't upload as much as I used to. And uh, I guess I kind of lost faith in the YouTube channel, even though I do try, but uh, yeah, I've got a video plan for the people that comment. In fact, it's a new, it's a new idea, and I think that it will do pretty well, but uh, that will be coming out probably next week. But anyway, um, yeah, so what I want to talk about is my GTA 6, I almost said GTA 5 there, uh, wish list, and what I think is going to happen in it, and the locations of it, and uh, the name of it. But uh, the gameplay in the background is GTA Online, as a lot of you can see. Clearly, it's a race, and me and my friend Joe actually both won the race. Uh, we both went into the finish line at the exact same time, which was kind of strange and odd. Never thought that was possible in GTA. And we both collected the winnings, and it kind of said he won, but on my screen it said I won. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that, guys. That's kind of a glitch. I don't know what it is. If that's ever happened to you, um, you're special. You really are truly special. But, uh, okay, so GTA 6 is set to be released in 2017 now that could be absolutely bullshit but that's meant to be the most the soonest possible release date for it um yeah it's only two years into the future if my maths is correct i'm extremely bad at maths so that's not even probably right if gta 6 is released in 2017 that is only about four or five years after gta 5 was released in the past gta games uh there have been that probably that amount of years in between them so it is uh, a realistic release date for a GTA game, uh, but I don't really think it's going to be called GTA 6, to be honest, guys. I think it might be a stories, like, I think it might be called GTA San Andreas Stories, uh, maybe when Franklin was a gangster and go back a few years, or maybe, I don't know, a couple years after CJ was, like, King of San Andreas or something, I don't know, something like that. Um, but my favourite GTA ever... Um, was actually a story. It was GTA Vice City Stories uh, purely because it was my first ever GTA and I, oh my god, I spent hours playing that game. I found so many glitches on my own. Oh, the good times. And then after that was San Andreas and, and of course I got addicted to that and then uh, that, that became my favourite game but I still miss playing GTA Vice City Stories but uh, that's off the point. Now, let's get to the location. So, um, we've been to San Andreas already and unless the game's called GTA San Andreas stories then it won't be set in San Andreas and in GTA 5 there was a lot of references to uh, both Vice City and Liberty City stories now if you walk around and you speak to some pedestrians uh, you can actually hear some of them saying oh I'm moving back to Vice City now that could actually clearly be like a, a teaser from Rockstar that they're planning to set the next GTA uh, in Vice City. That would be pretty cool. Uh, you know, I, I would be perfectly happy with it being set back in Florida. You know, it's cool. I guess in Florida, the main thing about it was mostly drugs, wasn't it? If I can remember playing Vice City. And in Liberty City, it was a little bit different. And then San Andreas, of course, it's about gangsters and stuff. I believe that GTA 5 kind of went off gangsters. I don't really think that they were too much to do with the campaign. Of course, there was Franklin. But we didn't really have that many gangster missions, and that's why I kind of hate it. Because, like, San Andreas, oh my shit, I loved it purely because you could just gangbang and just be a wannabe gangster. And this probably sounds really pathetic of me here, but I really like popping heads, you know? Putting a cap in someone's brain, doing that kind of shit. And, and there was a lack of gangster missions in GTA 5. Now, uh, yeah, so hopefully... So... Um, but that's off the point again. I'm not really talking about GTA 6. I'm moaning about GTA 5 now Obviously back in the day uh, GTA was actually set in London now. I think London I don't know really I, it's not I don't, it can't really be compared to any American city in a way uh, London is extremely old You know it was like created in like 200 and like 31. I think something like that um, an extremely long time ago now New York City was only created like 300 years ago, so yeah, you can't really compare them at all. And of course, you know, one of the first GTA games was actually set in London, and uh, that's before I think the whole breakout of the franchise. But um, Rockstar is, of course, a British company and stuff. And to be honest, I don't, I, I don't see it ever returning back to Britain. Um, no way. I think it'll stay. Um, in in America, they, we might even see it go to Las Vegas. Of course, we've seen it in Los Venturas. I think that was what it was called. 
can't exactly remember and we saw it in someone else like San Francisco I can't Jesus I can't remember the San Andreas locations anymore damn it um, but yeah to be honest I personally see us going back to Vice City of course um, the last one we had was Liberty City and uh, yeah why not go back to Vice City so yeah location I'm putting it I'm putting money on the table right now that will be Vice City so when GTA 6 is released and there's trailers and stuff um, you can come back to me and say hey silly GTA 6 was set in Vice City you have superpowers and stuff but yeah oh yeah talking about superpowers you know I actually got all my marks in my test correct before I actually done the test you know it was a listening test and you had to put all this stuff in order and I actually guess what order they went in and I got full marks and the teacher I don't know why the teacher marked it she was about to put it in the bin apparently but she she looked at it and she said it was alright and I was like whoa you know I don't I'm not saying I have superpowers but I have superpowers again that's off the point so GTA 6 more about it uh, what can we talk about it even more okay let's talk about protagonists okay so I want to start back from the bottom again because I felt like Michael and Trevor and uh, Franklin were already at the top of the food chain in a way Franklin okay you know he was an OG in a way I guess uh, with the homies and stuff but you know he wasn't all the way at the top and he wasn't at the bottom really Trevor was uh, I'm not even gonna go into Trevor he had his own company and Michael was a successful bank robber now all the GTAs that I like in a way we start out at the bottom of course CJ you know he got dumped on a street and you have to steal a BMX now in Vice City stories you actually get kicked out of the military and then you uh, you go do some drug dealing and stuff and you start up you start off at the bottom now I think that's what they need to do I really want to start back at the, off at the bottom and make my way up and uh, do that kind of stuff and of course I want to buy houses again in GTA 5 it sucked because you couldn't buy houses and uh, yeah it just sucked really didn't it guys so yeah I want a guy that starts off at the bottom and it's, I want it aimed around drug dealing again if it's in Vice Cities I want it to kind of stick to its roots and stay drug dealing cocaine of course was uh, the main drug um, in the Vice City stories game I, I've never played the whole I never actually played Vice City game I've, uh, I've only played the stories one so um, yeah that's what I'm going by here I'm sorry if my facts and figures and all that shit isn't correct but yeah also I want it to uh, kind of have more control around it I want you I want to be able to pick up like like people and stuff and then recruit them and stuff like you did in Vice City stories and you know buy businesses of course you could do that in GTA 5 but I don't really think it, it wasn't really hands on you ha you got en you got enough money and then you bought it and then you never really done fuck all with it apart from some promotions in an airplane chasing away gangsters now that shit was boring. I want to do something a little bit better than that. I want to kind of do missions for them, even though you could do that with the taxi firm and stuff. But I just want it to be a little bit more hands-on than that. I, I was kind of bored, especially after the game. You had all these fucking businesses, and that's the only thing that was calling you up. So do stuff after the whole campaign is actually finished. Like, do territory. Like, you have to get territory around the city. You have to keep your drug dealing business going. Uh, I have no fucking clue. Just along that line. That would be fucking amazing, and I think GTA, the, the, the reason it's so good, if it was just a campaign, you know, if it was just a campaign and then the game was over, uh, then it would be completely shit, you know, that I don't think anyone play it, but the way it's good is that because it's an open world, you can just explore, do anything you want, but that does keep people busy, but only for a limited amount of time. Um, I think, you know, GTA Online is obviously keeping GTA 5 going right now, of course, you know, that's what's keeping people not bored. Uh, it's hard to play solo um, without getting bored now. So, uh, yeah, I want I want to do something after the game is actually finished. So, hopefully they listen to me right there. Uh, this is only uh, some stuff I want to talk about GTA 6. You probably accomplished nothing from this video. You learned nothing. But that's not everything, I guess. You, you got entertained in a way. Anyway, thank you for watching the video, guys. Please go follow me. I lost... I actually had 800 followers. Then my account got fucked. It, I think... I don't know what happened. Instagram actually ended up blocking it. It. and now I have 200 followers it's absolutely amazing you guys have been awesome uh, following me that fast uh, please go and try and pump it back up again um, but anyway guys thanks for watching peace out